Oh, uh, Tom is here to, today to talk to us about the importance of uh, income protection and trauma insurance because uh, Tom's gone through a, a bit of a traumatic experience in her life and we thought it's a great idea we can share her story with other clients uh, who may feel that those types of insurance aren't important. So Tanya, can you explain to everyone sure. what happened? Sure. Um, well, I was diagnosed in February 2015 uh, with stage 3C um, bowel cancer. Uh, it was quite a shock, um, but uh, long story short, so I won't go into detail about the cancer itself, but um, I actually had to have uh, a right hemicolectomy, which is about a third of the bowel chopped out. Uh, where the tumour was, and then they tested it. I asked for them to test for genetic mutation, which means um, if there's any genetic um, cancer. Because in my family, it was, there was a bit of alarm bells because my father's father died at 28 of bowel cancer, which was a red flag, okay? Mm. So um, really, if there's two or, four, two or more family members that have cancer in your family that run down the line, that's an alarm bell. And that's where you got to look at uh, getting a gene test, a genetic um, test done. So when I had the tumour cut out, I had it tested for, for a gene, if it was genetic cancer, came out as I had Lynch syndrome. So Lynch syndrome is like a bit like the BRCA gene, so it's, it's a genetic cancer, which means I'm at risk of many cancers. The main ones being bowel cancer and um, endometrial cancers. Other little ones like pancreatic and, and so forth, they're, they're varying degrees of risk. So, um, yeah, it was very devastating. Um, very devastating because I have a child. She, my daughter's 21. And that's all you think about when you get diagnosed with cancer, especially mm. so young. Um, I'm 47. I was diagnosed two years ago, so I was 45. And um, yeah, if, if it wasn't for me having security, that meaning um, income protection and trauma insurance, I'd be up you know what creek. So um, for me, it was such a comfort to knowing, I mean, that's the kind of person I am anyway. Mm. So I, I plan, you know, um, the fact there was a red flag, there was genetic, you know, family history of cancer, very young. Um, yeah, I thought, got to have life, got to have income protection, got to have trauma insurance. And especially for around our age group, you know, getting 40, age 40 and upward, you hear about so many cases of people getting cancer, it was like breast cancer, hormonal breast cancers, you know, hereditary, familiar mm. um, cancers. So yeah. having that in place and getting diagnosed, it was like I could just let everything else fall away in terms of responsibilities for work, responsibilities for um, expenses. Um, I could just concentrate on getting better. Because mm. when I was diagnosed and it was genetic cancer, Lynch syndrome, there's, you know, there's a whole new world to that. Um, I'm on a very strict surveillance program for all different cancers. Um, I also need to get a full hysterectomy for prevention. Um, and so there's all sorts of things that are, mm. that are associated with that. But um, uh, when I was diagnosed, I got the surgery to get the tumour and the third of the bowel chopped out. And then unfortunately it had gone into four lymph nodes, which means lymph nodes are the map to your body. So uh, when that happened, I had to go through six months chemo. Right. So it's six months chemo every fortnight and it was horrendous. Chemo is really rough. Mm. Uh, it varies from person to person, but if I didn't have, again, my income protection yeah. and, you know, trauma insurance, it was just, just so important, so important. I can't believe enough about it to be prepared. Always have your insurances in place, especially income protection and trauma. Right. And life, it? life is mandatory. Life insurance is mandatory. Mm. But um, our age group, for, especially 40 and up, but if there's family history of cancers, you must have income protection and trauma insurance. Yeah. Yeah. And how was the claim? Um, the claim process? Yeah. Yeah, they were brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 
Um, I couldn't, like, I'm a pretty critical person and, like, if something's not being delivered, I'll certainly bleed about it. Mm. But A&P were brilliant. They were so caring. Um, the process was really quite um, fluid. It was very, very easy. It was just, you know, there were no issues. Of course, there's paperwork. That's the way it is. Yeah. But all I had to do is, is obviously get all my um, histopathology reports from the surgeons and the doctors, send it all in with my application. And honestly, they, they authorised everything in a really quick fashion. Um, and then, of course, with income protection, there was no problem, no problem at all. And what they do is they have like a case officer yeah. that checks in on me and rings and sees how I'm going and, you know, we just have a bit of a chat. But there's care mm. and that's really important because it's not just about covering you, it's about the care. So yeah. they have case officers that, you know, make sure, oh, another thing which was really lovely, they actually helped by um, putting in place a physio. So when I was recovering from chemo, because it thrashed me around a bit, they put in place a physio to for about ten sessions. Yeah, wow, that's good. Yeah, so mm. I can't thank them enough. Like I really did, you know. At the end, I was like, guys, you really helped me mm. just by getting through this because it is a fight. Yeah, and um, if you're having to work your butt off and try and get through chemo and try, yeah. and, no, you couldn't do it. No. You couldn't do it. That's and good. especially, you know, it's 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 a rough time. So yeah. you want to give it your best, and giving it your best is fighting it the way you should be fighting it. Mm. All right, all right. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Okay. Bye.